Hey everyone, it's Matteo here from CD Soft, and today I'm going to be demonstrating how to import Adobe Illustrator files into Lightburn. We're currently using the latest version of Lightburn, which is 0.9.02. Alright, so the first thing we have to do is we have to go to the File tab in the top corner, and we're going to go down to the Import option. Once we've clicked the import option, we have to locate the file which we want to import. In this case, I want to import the test1.ai file. As you can see by the .ai, it is an Adobe Illustrator file. So once we have that, we're going to click the open button. And as you can see, it pops up in our workspace. Now, if you wish to move it, scale it, or rotate it, I will demonstrate that for you now. When moving an object in Lightburn, there are four ways in which you can do so. You can free move, which is by selecting the object by clicking on it and dragging to anywhere on the workspace. You can click it and select it and use your arrow keys, left, down, right, up, to move it in small increments. You can use the X and Y positioning values up here, so let's check that to 300. Or you can use the preset movements that they have. So if you select the object like we have and you come up to this movement button here, you have some presets here. So we're going to move that into the top left. When rotating an object in Lightburn, there are two ways in which you can do so. You can free rotate by clicking and dragging and you can drag any of these corners here or you can rotate it using the rotate variable up here where you can do it in degrees so let's say we want to rotate it 180 degrees we can do that so we want to rotate it 27 degrees we can do that too When scaling an object in Lightburn, there are three ways in which you can do so. Just like with movement and rotation, you can click and free scale by dragging any one of those corners up and down. You can also use the width and height variables here to scale down. So let's say we want to take it down. Let's take it down five centimeters. Oh, let's take it down three centimeters. So let's go to 200. Let's take it down even more. Let's go to 150. You can scale it down that way. Or you can use the percentage variables here. So the first thing we have to do is we have to import these files. So we're going to go up to File, Import, and we're going to select the Test 1. I'm going to import three of these for this demonstration. So I'm going to go File, import test one and we're going to do that one more time file import test one now we have our three objects in the workspace now as you can see on my screen they are all on top of each other so we're going to move them so we're going to select and i'm going to use the movement options that they have already set so i'm going to move this one to the top left I'm going to select this one, I'm going to move that one to the top right, and this one I am going to free drag into the middle. Now as you can see they're overlapping and one doesn't fit in the workspace entirely, so I'm going to scale them all down. So I'm going to select them, but what I might do this time is I might show you guys another feature. What you can do is you can just select all of them, but what it'll do is if you drag from the left here, you have a red box. Now that red box will only select what is fully enclosed in it. Now if you just wanted to select everything that gets touched by that box, all you have to do is drag from the right and you'll get a green box and anything that is touched will be selected. So what we're going to do is we are going to scale that down to 80% and we're going to go move top left, move top right. And now we have our three projects on the workspace. Now once you've got all this done and you've set everything you need to set, 
you can preview what will happen by clicking this monitor looking button here. When you click that, it will also give you a time estimate. And the cool thing about this is if you click play, you can actually view what will happen when it goes to cut or engrave your file. So let's take it up to the max B, which is 40%, or 40 times.